So now that we can shoot, we want to be able to like take out some enemies. So what we're going to do is go and create a new scene. So it's just going to be a 3D scene. Let's just leave it as a no 3D and let's call it an enemy. Let's save that. We don't want it in our UI folder. It's going to go into our models and we'll just save it there. Okay, what we're going to do is just quickly go and make our character. So I'm just going to make another node. Let's call that model. I'm also going to add an area 3D. And as a child of that, we'll have our collision shape. And I'm just going to go and use a basic capsule. Now the model, we're just going to quickly throw a couple of mesh instances together. Just so we've got our character. So let's put a capsule on. Let's give it a bit of a box and let's give our character a bit of a fat head. So we'll just use a prism mesh. We'll jump into that. Let's just turn off the body part. Okay, so we can see that there. No, nope, not that axis. So we're just going to go into a transform wherever that has gone. There we go. Rotate it around the x axis. Oh, 90 degrees. Back out to our shape. Let's, I think, on the z axis, 0.25. And we'll just move that sort of at the top, move it a little bit forward. We'll turn that back on. We've now got our enemy. Let's just put some texture onto this so we can highlight all those mesh instances together. Create a new standard material. And let's just change our libretto. Let's just make our player nice and sort of red. And we can make it nice and metallic. So we've got our little character sort of created. What we're now going to do is we're just going to jump Area 3D, yep, that's all on. So this Area 3D and this collision shape is going to be what's handling our hit detection. But in order to do this well, what we want to do is anything that can hit us, we're going to put into a group. So we're going to go to our bullet and, or anything that we want to be able to basically kill an object. So we're going to go into our groups and we're going to make one called Let's say projectiles. This will store any sort of projectile, whether it's a bullet or damage. Now, on our player, we're going to attach a script to our enemy. And with our nodes, when the body is entered, our enemy is going to do something. Let's just do a little test. Just check something was hit. Jump back to our test environment, actually. Let's just run this. So we're in our play. Shoot. Probably would be quite useful if we actually put our enemy onto the scene somewhere. And we can see, if we look down here, it was hit. So that is awesome. So we know that the player can get hit. What we now want to do is basically see what hit. So if body, like before, is in group, Projectiles, make sure you type that correctly. Delete it. Let's run it again. And the player disappears. 
what we might also want to do get rid of the bullet as well so now we've basically got when something hits us we get rid of the enemy we also get rid of the bullet we can add any other code we wanted in here for what projectile so if you had different groups you can actually like categorize how much damage we we're going to do but now we've basically got our core parts of our game and collision detection shooting some parts making things disappear